prior to the independent and, and kind of in the early days of the independent, uh, we organized uh, a series called the Oshkosh Music Artist Series. And the idea with, with that was that we would feature the exceptional talents, uh, uh, musical talents of the Oshkosh area uh, in a, a twice a year um, a, t a twice a year concert. We held those at the Algoma Club, and we also held one at uh, in the city center, um, just right right outside of Beckett's. There, um, th that series featured a different genre of music e each concert, and so we had one that was all focused on jazz, one that was even choir. We had all um, five choirs in the city come together, so there was like I don't know 300 um, um, uh, singers. Uh, for that concert, which was pretty wild. We had at, at Beckett's the balcony um, in the city center. We had all of the choirs up on the balcony surrounding the audience and um, a pretty cool thing. Anyways, uh, bands like Dead Horses played at it, um, uh, The Guilty Wanted, which is um, a band that's no longer playing. That series kind of had had its time, so we, we, we put that in the closet and um, didn't do anything for about a year and then started the idea, well, maybe we should get back at it and um, do something that's maybe more targeted, not uh, uh, here's all the different kinds of music that are possible, but more so f uh, focused on, um, you know, like an indie rock and roll type thing. When you talk the rain, down the pain, follow fire and never walk away. I knew the ropes might tear I knew my palms might wear But I'd hold as long as you would stay Lying with the matted down hair Broken now and be on repair Still your role does keep the crowded bay Paul Addison. I'm in the band Faux Fawn. We're excited to be back here at Racket Fest. Actually, this is our first year at Racket Fest, but excited to be back in Oshkosh. I went to school in Oshkosh uh, back about 12, 13 years ago and uh, played in a couple of bands here. Have great memories of playing uh, the New Moon Open Mic, playing uh, venues like the Reptile Palace and, and uh, Water City Grill when it was there. Um, it's fun to be back in town. I uh, see a lot of old friends that are either still here, that have come back, that play in bands, and, uh, and it's, so far it's been a great experience. Let us journey south, Sarasota's house is a dream I can't begin to share. The palace of reflection to bend, the past until we too find an end, ever walk and ever Away. Oh, you stay this park and make these hearts. There are music events in other communities across the state that people uh, uh, they, they gravitate to that sort of stuff, and these musicians have played at all of those. So the caliber of musicianship that we had at this year's festival is, is as good as any music festival. My name is Logan Lamers. I play in the present age and Horace Green. And um, I've been a member of the local Oshkosh music scene for about the past two, maybe three years. And I have to say one of my, one of the best experiences I've ever had has been at the Water City Racket Fest this past year. I've had 
back-to-back -back days of playing shows with some of my best friends, seeing some of my favorite people in the area, and meeting a ton of new people as well. And um, I just think it's incredible that there's something like this with already such a strong foothold in Oshkosh. Of course, there's, there's room to grow, and I hope to see this festival grow, but already it's just been such a fantastic experience to be a part of. Everybody from the other bands, to the people who come out to see shows, to the venues and bars themselves, it's just been one of the best community experiences I could have asked for. Yeah, the Algoma Club was, was absolutely phenomenal. Um, the, just tremendous bands and um, uh, super cool musicians, yet the attendance was, was super light. Um, I don't think we did a very good job connecting with uh, the campus community back when I was in, at, in college here at UW Oshkosh. I mean, we would put together shows and, and the whole place would just be filled with students and um, we didn't quite we haven't uh, really achieved that yet, so that's a, that's a main focus of our planning for the next year. Um, the, the Algoma Club's a large space, right? And so the, pot, the, the, the numbers that we had there at, at a, like a local bar, a reptile or something, that would have made it seem like a packed house, but because it's such a large space, um, it really it, it makes it seem like it's just not, not a super exciting um, you know, well-attended events. So we need to look at that. Are we ready? You know, are we in a position where we can actually host an event um, in such a large hall? Um, I'm always more optimistic and uh, like to think that we can, but we certainly have work to do. Good Night Gold Dust. I am originally from Wausau, Wisconsin, and I went to my undergrad in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. I really loved my time in Oshkosh. Uh, I went to school there. I loved it so much I went there for five years instead of the traditional four. Uh, I went to school originally for music and met such amazing people there. Um, really fantastic folks who absolutely fully encouraged me to create, to write music, to continue writing music, to keep that a part of my life forever. I've been super grateful to keep coming back to the Fox Cities, to the Fox Valley, after moving away to Minnesota, largely because this really feels like home, especially musically. It feels like sort of an epicenter for me 
And when I come back, I appreciate it more and more. I'm more and more grateful for the time that I had there and for the time that I'm able to continue having. We're absolute super fans of Justin Mitchell and of all the folks who put on Racket Fest this year. It was a fantastic time. We absolutely look forward to doing it again in the future. The Fox Cities holds a really special place in my heart and in the heart of Goodnight Gold Dust. We can't wait to come back every time we leave. Signals fly through time and space and leave without a trace. Decisions made to understand. Believe it that I can. The banister is wide for sound. The findings are profound. The shuttings have the fervent ways. I've been inside for days. I've been inside for days. I've been inside for days. typically have like kind of shied away from headliners and that all of the bands that we coming in uh, that we have coming in for the most part are, are pretty great and, and could headline any show on a given night. 